In this video, I'm going to show you how you can monitor your internet speeds with Telegraph and InfluxDB Cloud. When you log into InfluxDB Cloud, you're going to navigate to the Data, then Sources tab, and select Internet Speed under the Telegraph plugins. On the plugin page, you can view information about the Internet Speed plugin. To then create a Telegraph configuration with this plugin, I'm going to click on Use this plugin and then create a new configuration. From there, I'll name my Telegraph configuration. I'll name it Internet Speed, and then I'm going to choose the bucket I'm going to send my data to. I'm going to create a brand new bucket named Telegraph Internet. Once completed, you'll be taken to edit the plugin configuration. The Internet Speed plugin is pretty simple and actually doesn't require that much configuration. I'm going to actually set my enable file download setting to true, and this will set some configuration variables in the Speed Test Go library, which determines what size of file to download and how many downloads to run. If this is actually set to false. The speed test go library will determine the configuration values based on your latency. And that actually requires just a little more logic and time to run the tests. And we also note that the input plugin you configure here will be appended to the default telegraph agent settings and the output plugin for the InfluxDB instance you're currently on. Now that the input plugin configuration is completed, you can save and test and run through the setup instructions of running your Telegraph configuration. I've already done step one, which is to download Telegraph. So the next step, I'm going to configure my API token by copying it to my clipboard and then pasting it in my terminal. And then I'm gonna go back and copy the command to start Telegraph and paste it and start running Telegraph in my terminal. So here I can see I have my internet speed input plugin running and outputting to InfluxDB. A last test to see if our data has made it into InfluxDB Cloud. I can click on this listen for data button and this will check to see if there's any data in my Telegraph internal bucket I created. And there we go, connection found. Now we should be able to view our data in InfluxDB Cloud. Let's go into our notebooks to view our data. I'm going to create a new notebook. I'm going to select my Telegraph Internet bucket, Internet Speed Measurement, and my Download and Upload fields. In my notebook, I can view my raw data in this table. I can continue down and view, visualize my data in a graph. I can see the trends. I can see here my data, my, up, my download speeds are around 80 and my upload speeds are, are pretty low, less than five, kind of three megabits per second. But in notebooks, I can also do a lot of other things such as write flux scripts to query my data. I can create more graphs or other tables. I can add a note. I can also take action on my data by setting by creating an alert or a task or outputting to, to another bucket. Once you have your data in and queried, you may want to set up a dashboard to view your current internet speeds and trends. Let's actually go to the dashboard section of the platform and take a look at a dashboard I've already created. You can create dashboard cells directly from notebooks. And here we have a view of my internet speeds over the last three hours. Say I noticed a change in my data and it was due to some action that I want to take note of. I can utilize annotations to make a comment that I moved to the living room at this time. And maybe, and that's why my speeds have changed. Now you have everything to start monitoring your internet speeds and hopefully it will help you get a better understanding of your connected life. If you haven't already, sign up for InfluxDB Cloud and download Telegraph to get started.